previously. And here we are in BDB, and luckily, it's... Is that boss music? Oh, it's a goblin invasion. Um, yeah, luckily we have a elevator right here, so this should be incredibly simple to get down there and try and find a... A shadow chest, that's what they're called. Whew, now, I just remembered by the time that this goes out... There should be a video called... Well, I'm sure we have called it Update Free. I recorded it earlier today. But you know how these things work. So it will have gone out a few days ago. And if you would like to, go check out that video. Because, you know, now that you know what's going on and stuff. But also, um, I mentioned that I'm going to be doing a Q&A at some point. Uh, of, I think I probably... I think I said two weeks from that video. So it'll be a few days old now. So you might only have a few days left. So go to that video, if you have any questions that you would like me to answer, post them on that in a response to that video. Now, uh, <laughs> to be honest, Terraria questions, you can ask them in Terraria videos. The Q&A is more sort of the personal questions and stuff like that. So yeah, if you ever wanted to know anything about me, go and do that. Shadow Chest Numero Uno has a flame lash and a bunch of crap. Give me it. And then that can just bin as far as I'm concerned. But we'll take the chest anyway. Yeah, so I'm not sure when it will have gone up. Three, four days ago maybe. And I imagine it's just called update number three or update three. Is it number three? Possibly. So yeah, it's a good opportunity for you to ask me something. And for me to answer it. And whatever. Oh, that looks so cool. It's like a sword stuck in some skulls. Right, I really don't want to have to put on another fast forward through this. But that may be the way it goes, you know. Finding shadow chests and finding a specific thing from a shadow chest is a pain in the butt. Well, that was that end of the air search. We found two shadow chests, but unfortunately, nothing worth having. So we're going to head to the right-hand side now and see what we can find on that end. I will have definitely put some fast-forward or cut out, I'm not sure, uh, my journeys because, well, it's a big load of nothing really, isn't it? I'll find a couple of shadow chests, but that's about it. Nothing really worth having in them. And unfortunately, no voodoo demons. Because.
Right, we have reached the end of yet another world. And still no sign of that item we want, which kind of sucks. So I think the best thing for us to do right now is to head back home. Dump off all of this crap that we've got here to free up some inventory space. And then possibly create a new world. Or find an, an old world to go to and go down to hell in that to try and find this. Because this is beginning to be a pain. Alright, let's save and exit. I'll be back in a new world. Right, I think the best thing to do is to delete world 23EWSD, which is unfortunate because I had built that uh, Dungeon Guardian Skeletron style fighting area, which I was going to use for Skeletron Prime, but we can find somewhere else to do that. Let's make this world... Apparently that, I didn't even get a chance to read it. I was skipping through it so fast. Okay, you know the drill. We find a hole, we dig down... So there's one pretty much already here. Look, through a clear area. That's being loud, you stupid bird. Right, let's go. Straight down. Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, that's what I get for not digging straight down. I was taking my time digging around. And look at this crazy pattern I've done. I was just keeping my eyes open for in case there was a blood root or something. And my God, my heart is going now. Those things never fail to literally make me jump. Ooh. Right, well, that's the end of another world. Right, we just need to go to the right-hand side, I guess. Oh, digging another tunnel down, because I didn't actually make a hell of it, to did I? I just kind of dug around. Fair enough, we'll dig our way back down, and then examine the right-hand side. And see where that leads us to. Hopefully, to the freaking thing that we want, because I'm getting sick of this. It's really eating into my time. I hate searching for luck based things, complete RNG whether you find a chest and then complete RNG whether it's got inside it what it is that you want. Sucks, I hate it. I also hate digging for ice.
Oh, finally we find it. The Sun Fury. How perfect was it? It was right next to another chest. Okay, right. There it is, the Sun Fury. We're going to take everything. We're going to smash that. And then we're just going to leave. I'm sick. I don't want to be here anymore. Save and exit. Back to our world. That took far longer than I ever wanted it to. <sighs> right, I'll quickly equip it. And then I'm going to put this stuff away. And you never have to see it. Ever again. Here's the Sun Fury. It's retextured since the last time I saw it. I don't think it had flame particles either. Also, it seems rather large. I don't think it used to be. Right, much like the Dow of Power, you can fire it in, if I can do this correctly. Like that, and trap it within a block. It will leave after a while. You don't have to trap it, you can just do it like this. Haha. <laughs> Book. Let's find something to smash of it. Does it have fire damage? I imagine it might do. If we can hit something. If we can hit something. There we go. 40 damage. 44. Doesn't say. Oh, but I said a 217% critical strike chance then. I'll, I got really excited, but no. 21%. And this is it. I wonder if it glows in the dark. It just might. It just might. Let's steal. Uh, if I get rid of that wood, if I steal this, it's going to be quite dark. Yeah, look, it lights up the area. It darkens again. That's cool. Where'd that torch go? I want that in here. So I can put it back. Right, time to put this stuff away.